Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess and I'm so happy that you're here. So you can find me as MidClan Jess on just about all social media channels. I'm really excited that you guys are here to join me because we are going to be putting together one of these beautiful ARC or Advanced Reader copy pages. Um, this one is specifically for January through June. Um, but we need to create one for July through December because I've started to get um, I've started to get like approvals for books that are releasing in July. So I think July and August maybe. So today we're going to be talking all about Bookstagram and ARCs or Advanced Reader Copies, my book journal, and NetGalley. And if you are interested in checking out how I create this page and how to be able to get ARCs yourself, Stay tuned. So let's go ahead and start talking about my reading Bujo. So this reading Bujo is separate from my reading journal, which is my Happy Planner reading journal. My Happy Planner Reading Journal is very year and month specific, whereas my Reading Bujo, it is basically like a mishmash of anything that I want to create related to Bookstagram or tracking or just because, but it's not year specific. So it's like wild and it's chaotic and it is just like, it's literally like a bunch of open tabs in my brain and I, I love it. So I created this arc page. Um, this is a January through June and it just basically allows me to track all of the advanced reader copy books. Um, so the title and the month and the, or the date that it publishes. And now we've got to create one for July through December. Um, and if I have time, kind of depending on how long that this video runs, I may even make another tracker page on the other side, which um, is going to be like this, because this is where I can actually check off, um, you know, the, where I can keep a running list of the books, the release date, the book format, where I got where I got it from, when I want to read it by, and then just it's basically a check off of did I read it? Goodreads review, NetGalley review. Um, if it's one where it's not through NetGalley, but it's basically through a link, um, there might be links that they want me to review. Did I do an Amazon review? Is it through Book Siren, which is like kind of like another advanced reader copy um, database? And then did I post about it on Instagram? And did I create a little Bookstagram page? So that's my little Bookstagram notebook, which I basically am using for books that are like really, really special to me. Um, or if it's for books that I just, I read that I just absolutely adored. So I think I might try to create both, but, um, mainly for this video, it's going to be the art page and NetGalley. So let's go ahead and talk about NetGalley first. And I'm going to try to move this. So then that way I don't get um, my ring light in the picture. Um, let's go ahead and just do this. So NetGalley is a website um, that basically you can be able to read, review, and recommend advanced reader copies of books. And they also have audiobooks, so you can do advanced listener copies. Um, it's basically free for anybody to sign up for. I mean, you could be a bookseller, um, like you could work in the publishing field. You could be an educator, a librarian, just a reviewer, a journalist, anything really. It's just, it's for anybody. Um, kind of your level is dependent on what you get approvals for. So I have been using this website since July of 2022, and I absolutely love it. So basically you have your dashboard and the dashboard um, just kind of gives you like books that fit within the categories that you have set. 
Um, and then it also just, just provides like a lot of general information as well. Um, once you get approved for books, you have your bookshelf and this tells you um, the date of the book. And it usually goes by like the most recently approved, um, the date that it's publishing, the date that it's archiving, and then the date that you download it. And then it gives you the ability to give feedback. You also have a list of all of the books that you have left feedback for. Um, and then not active is basically anything that's pending, anything that's declined, or anything that you um, say that you're not going to give feedback for. You can be able to search titles. So you can search recently added audiobooks, debut authors, recently added ebooks. And by the way, NetGalley is all ebook. So, or it's all ebook and audiobook. So it is not physical copies of the books. Um, and then you can also browse publishers and then publishers can also set you as an auto approval, which basically means that if you go to someone that you are auto approved for, um, which I always forget, like, here we go. Like I always forget how to find that. And I have gotten auto approved for, for someone, which I was really surprised at because I'm like, I only requested one book from them, but Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. So you can even go to like your auto approval and then just kind of choose a book and then it you'll just be able to read it immediately. So I absolutely love NetGalley because it has been a great way for me to find new authors that I may not have read. But then also if there's books by authors that I absolutely adore, um, I, am, I feel very lucky that I can be able to read their books. So Catherine Center has a new one coming out in July and she had it available or i guess her publisher had it available as a read now for a very short time so i was able to grab that one and i'm super excited about that but yeah so netgalley is a great way to get arcs or advanced reader copies of books and essentially after you're done reading it you just leave a feedback and you on the website then it will tell you your feedback ratio the books that you have been approved for and how many of those books have you sent feedback. Um, and it kind of really depends on the publisher for what they want to see. A lot of publishers want you to have a feedback ratio of 80%. Um, sometimes they want to see like certain things in your, your profile. So, I mean, I'm sitting at 60% feedback ratio and I, I still do get approval. So it really just kind of depends. But yeah, so if you ever want to try to get advanced reader, advanced reader ebooks or audiobooks of books <laughs> um, that are publishing later in the year, definitely check out NetGalley. So I'm going to go ahead and now move on to the page. And this is just going to be basically done um, similar to how I do other um, Bujo videos. So I have stickers. I'm using these pink and yellow florals from Jojo's Pretty Paper Shop. A couple of the sheets came from um, the sticker book that I bought of hers. It's book five of florals. And then the other two sheets came from a floral bundle. I have these three colors of Tombow markers. So 993, 873, and 991 because they coordinate very well with these florals. I have a Muji 0.38 gel pen. And then I have the Ritec liquid fine liner in 05 and 005 because I'm going to be using these for my little like library card. That's kind of where I've been tracking it. And then if I'm going to be doing the other arc page, I'm going to be doing it very similar to this. So the only color that I'm going to be adding to what I'm using is going to be a gray. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm going to be using the N95, which is like a really, really light gray, but basically I just like to kind of do like every other line in that gray color and I'll show you how I keep it like super, super straight. So I'm going to go ahead, switch to a voiceover and let's set up this art page. I would like to note that before I start this page, you will see me flipping back and forth. 
um, actually for both the July through December ARC page and my list um, that's going to be used just as an ongoing list. Since I already had these pages created, I want to keep them as similar to the original pages as possible. So I use the 05 for the border of the boxes, and I use the 005 for the inside. So I'm probably dating myself, but if you remember, at least for those who were born in like maybe the 70s to 90s, you probably remember when you went to the library, there was always the card inside of the books that you wrote in your name, and it was stamped with, I think it was the due date. That's exactly what I wanted these cards to look like, um, just because I thought that that would be a really, really fun way to decorate the page. So I used the Tombow fine line side for the month, and then I just used the really light gray to color um, every, or highlight every other line because I wanted to give it that specific look. Overall, it was a super simple page, and I really, really love how the flowers actually kind of just brighten it up. So um, again, these flowers come from JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop, and whenever I try to decide on a color scheme, I always try to pick the uh, stickers that I want to use first, and then I decide what colors that I'm going to use. So at the bottom, I did decide to cut the flowers first um, just to kind of make it a little bit easier because I wanted them to be half. And I was kind of going back and forth between using flowers on the top, um, but I opted to go for the washi and I decided to use a pink washi, but I only used half of the sheet just because of the fact that I didn't want the full scallop. I just wanted the color. So I really, really like how it turned out. But now we are going to be working on my arc tracking list. This is where I write down all of the arcs and it's basically my tracking for all of the to-dos that I need to do for each individual book. So again, this is one where I flipped back and forth because I needed to remind myself um, how I set up the individual sections. And I actually was really pleased that <laughs> I had something to look back on because that really, really helped me in making sure that I spaced out everything so precisely. One of my favorite tricks that I learned for highlighting in straight lines is using washi tape to block off the area that you do not want to highlight. So that's what I do um, on this page for both the, I guess it'd be columns. <laughs> I always forget like which way is columns, which, which way is rows. So what I do is I just basically put the washi down and I block off where I don't want to highlight. It can be kind of a pain for a big page like this, especially when you have a lot of lines to highlight. And I will admit, as I got farther along, I kind of got a little bit lazy. Um, I tried to speed it up by kind of figuring out, okay, can I do two at a time? And yeah, just it didn't work out too well. But, you know, I, I keep reminding myself, a page like this, most 99% of the time, it's going to be for my eyes only. So it is perfectly okay if it's not perfect. So there are parts where the highlighted line is not as straight and it's not as beautiful, but I really like how this page turned out. And all that's left to do is just write in my headers and I'm done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you check out NetGalley. Let me know if you sign up and if you start to read ARCs. Thank you guys so much. If you like, give this a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and have a good day. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the next video.